Okay, so I wanted to get on here and talk uh, about a personal experience that I just had yesterday with tailbone pain. Um, so starting about three or four weeks ago, kind of deep in the backside of my left hip, kind of near my sit bone or my butt bone, anytime I would squat or kind of push off that leg, I was having a little tug or a little tension there, and I ignored it. Um, and then about two, maybe three weeks ago, I got a new spin bike. And so I noticed that after I got off the spin bike, I was having a little bit of tailbone soreness and I thought, oh, it's getting used to, you know, having my butt back on the saddle, right? This started slowly progressing until yesterday when I could hardly move. I couldn't squat. I was having difficulty going up and down the stairs. I absolutely could not sit. I pretty much could hardly move all day. I was in some pain. Um, and then my husband reminded me, you know, you could treat yourself. Um, so that's interesting because I was just going to complain about it and didn't want to take the time to actually treat myself, I guess. So I thought, hey, that's a good idea. Let me try some things. So today I'm actually feeling like 50% improved, so significantly better. And I thought I would spend some time talking a little bit about the things that helped for me. Um, so I did a post recently about tailbone pain and I thought I could go into a little more detail at this point, but essentially, um, that's your tailbone. It's a joint. It's right where it comes into the end of your sacrum. There are lots of ligaments and tendons and muscles. Um, all the pelvic floor muscles attach around here, right? One of the things that I think happens for a lot of people with tailbone pain is that we tend to put pressure here for extended period of time and that can really irritate the tailbone or the coccyx and so I think that's what happened to me on biking now there's a lot of things there the tailbone can actually move and start to curl under a little bit more um, it could be just a little bit of nerve tissue that's irritated it could be again some of the ligaments or muscles that stabilize the joint that feel like they're kind of tight and tugging and pulling a bit and specifically I think mine was this little lady right here um, so what are the things I did that were helpful? Well, I stopped sitting, um, so I got myself over a ball, um, and I have a little ottoman that I kind of laid out on. Um, my husband actually wrapped a band around my hips, so I was on my hands and knees over the ottoman at my belly, and he wrapped a band around my hips and sort of leaned back and tractioned my lumbar spine. So the band was here and he kind of pulled to give me some relief. The other thing to know is that whatever the low back is doing, the tailbone will follow. So if I thought my tailbone was kind of pushed under a little bit, one thing that we can do to open that the other direction is actually put a little curve in our lumbar spine. So that would be the cow part of cat cow pose, if you're familiar with that. So I am ended up coming into cow and thinking about really lifting my tailbone. There I did an inhalation. See our diaphragmatic breath videos. There I did an inhalation and brought that breath all the way gently down into my pelvic floor. But the other thing I did then was a pelvic floor drop. So that helped if I thought there was a tight muscle that was pulling that, that helped kind of open and release that pressure on the tailbone. The other thing I did is I was lying on my back and I put my hands right here and that sort of offloaded that area. That's really interesting too because I did a post about offloading this area if you're lying on your back when you're giving birth, so during delivery, to help keep the tailbone mobile. So I put my hands here. I came into a little bit of um, an anterior pelvic tilt 
and that puts a curve that's lumbar extension or a curved low back and I did my breath work there as well um, the last thing I did and this was pretty intense I would be really careful with this um, is my pain was a little more to my left side so I put a racket ball right along that area that was tender so I put it here I just held the pressure and I worked the breathing the pelvic floor drops um, also, ironically enough, yesterday I did a post on Cibola Belt, and I just happened to have that home with me this weekend because of that post, and I'm using that today to help me as I'm doing laundry and move around the house a little more, and that's also been really helpful. So let me know if you have any questions or thoughts about that. I really truly have empathy for people who have tailbone pain. Um, it's interesting because, again, it doesn't discriminate. Your pelvic PT can get tailbone pain. It can happen to men, women, um, pregnant, not pregnant. I think that um, tailbone pain can just happen uh, for a variety of reasons. And if you're looking for more information on that, see our other post on tailbone pain. Thanks.